Hi, I'm Terry. And this is Eric. And this is... Every Game Ever. I think that was loud enough. Every Game Ever. Every Game... Say it with me. One, two, three. Every, Every Game, game Ever. ever. Okay, I think cool. we just got ourselves a... Uh, an intro now. We just like put that to the music backing in. Oh my <laughs> god, again, Terry? <laughs> so I said, like, in this next batch of video games, in this last, next batch of recordings that we were doing, we were going to make it through two or three more missions. We are on the same mission. <laughs> well, we're only on the second recording. It's still on the same mission. Shut up. <laughs> well, to be fair, we also spent the last six episodes on the last mission. <laughs> yeah. Games got hard, okay? Motherfucker. <laughs> I hit the button. This must game not... is truly the Dark oh, Souls. Oh, God, I know what's happening. I don't have enough power to force jump. Ha! <laughs> That's what I've been doing. Okay. See? So I hit the speed button. I you, you, yeah, button. you loaded the wrong one. Oh. Ooh, what you said. That you only meant well. Did I ever tell you about my sketch idea for that? Uh-uh. It's, uh, so you have, like, the same, you have, like, pretty much the same setup. You have, like, um, a lawyer, a doctor, and a cop in, like, three different rooms, and they all hear a gunshot, and then it's just like, ooh, and you hear the song start playing, and all three of them are running down a hallway, and they're just kind of looking at each other, like, oh, yeah, I remember this one. Is this mine? Is this yours? Yeah. Which is, like, really dramatic music or whatever, just, like... How am I supposed to get over there? Like, it... At no excuse for that one. Are, are we responding to my emergency, your emergency, and... <laughs> yeah, what, what, Like, they show up there, and there's a gun... Like, it's a gunshot victim, and they're like... Like... Cool. This isn't me. <laughs> good, good luck, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, like, the lawyer's just like, Alright, I'm out. I don't I don't need to be here. Like, seriously? What What the hell, Greg? Greg? How am I supposed to get over Well, what am I supposed to do? Give him your coat, man. Did you see anything? Well, at least I jumped. So, uh, this last Christmas we watched uh, Muppet Christmas Carol with the uh, extended version hmm. that I don't, I didn't have. Uh, we had it on DVD and they had like so a what is it? Uh, like three or four more minutes of uh, the old guys. So one of the couple of the songs. No, Marley and Marley has got to be my favorite song. I love the Muppet Christmas Carol, not only because it's Michael Caine. Playing alongside with oh god, it is Michael Caine, isn't it? Oh okay. god, I'm gonna have to watch that again. I, I need to make a gif of this, but there's a scene. I'll, I'll probably pull it up oh, here in the window. Uh, put it up right here over. All right, Terry's so obviously face or I'm thinking jumping isn't the answer here, because then he wouldn't be saying like, "How am I supposed to get over there?" Right there, jumping was the answer. Okay, but they're like he's standing next to uh, the. This part doesn't if this is a secret area. Yeah. He's, sta he's uh, singing uh, the song with uh, Ghost of Christmas Present, like the big guy. Right. And it's just, <laughs> I love it because, like, the uh, Ghost of Christmas Present's kind of doing this thing because he's a big old uh, Jim Henson animatronic puppet, right? And <laughs> Michael Caine is imitating, like, no, 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 no. Well, at least we know where we're supposed to go. I'm sorry, I was too busy watching myself with the feedback doing that. <laughs> like, I just need to get a gif of him just doing that over and over again. Because yeah. Michael Caine's got this big smarmy smile on him. Just kind of... Yeah. I, I, you know what, after this I might just have to pull up the scene. Because it is just so fucking... I love it so much. Alright, I'm gonna... KK, don't bark. This is not your let's play. <laughs> Like I said, it doesn't work very often. Just be like, ah, we jumped out of the. Uh oh. <laughs> They're in hell and just be like, so you know that Jedi that was like supposed to be so amazing? He was. He was truly the greatest Jedi. Die, Jedi. <laughs> Too late, I did a bunch already. <laughs> <laughs> I've done all the dying that I'm gonna do today. I'm here to kick ass and you go. And I'm all out of life. <laughs> Wait, what? That, that doesn't make any sense. Neither did your mother. Ah. Did you win? <laughs> May the force be with you. Oh, man. This game got really hard all of a sudden, didn't it? Or it just got worse. Maybe it's both? Yeah. I just figured... There... That... Okay, so let's see. Uh, I guess there's really not a way... Yeah, they, this wouldn't have had the dynamic difficulty like we're used to, or it's a, like... Mm -hmm. 
change it. I know that we chose like the easiest mode because we knew we were going to have issues. I think we did second to last. So our oh, second to right. easiest, we did. we did Jedi, not um, Padawan. Padawan yeah. Sorry, folks, need to dehydrate. Hydration's important, Terry. The only problem is that those guys aren't going to die as well. well. Maybe they won't. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> He's like, ha, I landed. Looney Tunes looking down. Oh, How am I supposed to get over there? <laughs> there. Now that's how he always died. We just sealed that in the cannon, Eric. Uh, unfortunately, Disney just revoked all of that cannon. Stop. Oh, behind you, behind you. Hold on, I have like the world's itchiest nose right now. Uh, okay. Alright, I got it. Oh, it's still so itchy. Alright, so things just like a slow hand close up on you working through my nose there. Uh, so the power of the Jedi. I'm feeling it now. Frick. Oh, yeah, did you see my little jump there? There. <laughs> I'll skip now. That'll look badass. Let's <laughs> 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 see, what was the... Oh, it was uh, the... Um, oh, God, what was the show called? The Andy Griffith theme that uh, Dr. Clock sings in Whistles. <gasps> Scrubs. The whistling doesn't bug me. That's what happened. <laughs> Why are you whistling, Ted? Your life's pathetic. Right. <laughs> Do I go over here now? I'm glad Ted, like, I don't like that Ted was always the sad sack. Like, even when he won, he ended up losing at the end. Yeah. That made me sad. You want to hear the end of Ted's story? No. Okay. I know it continues in, uh... Cougar Town. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Yeah, his girlfriend gets stolen by a uh, hooch. <laughs> Which is crazy. <gasps> I'm guessing it's just because they didn't want to... They couldn't bring her back. Yeah, they couldn't bring back. Uh, I can't remember. Because really. well, she was doing... Uh, she was doing uh, Garfunkel and Oates. And now she's doing, uh, she's doing uh, another, period, uh, another period. What is going on? I'm amazing. Uh, please save. Or heal and save. Just the, the whole like super trippy, everything slowed down. I'm like, ah, oh God, I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Eric started to have war flashbacks from my game playing. It wasn't a war flashback specifically, but it was some kind of flashback. <laughs> Everything's going slow, and I'm really worried something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> Are we almost done with this level? Because it's gone on forever. <laughs> We're getting like great. How am I going to get down there without breaking All things considered, though, this is not actually bad level design. It's just yeah. they put a bunch of really hard enemies that are on that corner. Yeah, I mean, if I hadn't kept trying to jump in that way, I wouldn't have died so often because you're not supposed to jump for it. Which Jaden even tells you, so I'm the one who's... You know, that's my problem. I'm the wrong. I was the wrong. Yeah. The this thing where it's all like, it's like when I told, except when I told her that we'd live on the Mars. See, Elisa, I was wrong. Man. <laughs> Just like, I, I love how Marge used to be like, like she would sometimes kind of forget the lesson she was trying to teach. <laughs> so, um... There's a book called Lost Boys that I really enjoy by Wendy Scott Card, and it actually has a, a, one of those moments where, like, the, like the dad goes off on a tangent while they're teaching, trying to teach their children a, a, like a, a lesson, right? And it was like, like he looked around and uh, like realized that his wife was looking at him weird because apparently he just gone completely off tangent, and it was like, and she just turned to him and was like, "Step, what was the point of that?" And he's like, and then he did what any like any uh, parent back to Gibson Wall does, turned to the child and made it a teaching moment. Yeah. What do you think the lesson was? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough. 
Did I not put out the... Nope, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I forgot to move the seat. I thought they were using one ammo pool. I'm totally gonna use that now, though. Anytime, like, I do something really confusing, just pretend like it was on purpose and be like, Why do you think Daddy yelled that? <laughs> One thing that I'm excited for, like how many secrets my kids are gonna have to keep, is be like, and never tell mommy about this ever, right? And that's why you're my favorite. <laughs> I bet you say that's all the kids, everybody when they keep your secret. I do. I'm not gonna lie to you. But we are gonna lie to mom, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna think this looks like foreboding. Let's save here. Yeah. It's gonna be a checkpoint once you kill that guy. Yeah, probably. Ah! Thanks, buddy. That was helpful. Thanks, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy guy. <laughs> I'm not your guy, pal. Not your pal, friend. <laughs> <laughs> South Park has, has some amazing, like, it has some amazing jokes considering how fast they work on that show. Yeah. Well, that's one thing that, like, no other show is ever going to be able to do. Just keep up with that, like, mm -hmm. level of production and then... I well, think yeah, I a lot that. of it helps because the show is not animated all that much. Yeah. New objective information. Checkpoint. You are right, Eric. Hello. It's me. I was wondering if you wanted to die. What do you think? New catchphrase? Not a fan? Not a fan. <gasps> of Adele or of, or of the catchphrase? <gasps> kind of both. <gasps> this country can't agree on, like, what's acceptable for someone to say, but we can agree that Adele is amazing. Except for you. Except for me, yeah. Whoa, he just kind of went flying then. And we're just gonna save state the fuck out of this. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes! Rosh? Is that you? You're not Rosh. You have two lights in this room. You have yeah, two blades. I have two blades as well. You know, with some crazy glue, I could be like you, but I'm not going to because that would be crazy. As, as crazy as the aforementioned glue. <laughs> Did you win? It was so funny the first time I you thought you would be a challenge. I would have loved for you to like have it and then fall and like just him contacting your lightsaber and then fall kills him. <laughs> it's like, do we do the cutscene now? Do we do the cutscene? He, he technically won? Yeah. God, I always hated that. There was so there was one time that I got caught in the soft lock. I can't remember what game it was. I want to say it was like Fable or something, but it was like yeah. I died fighting the boss, but like I killed him with my final stroke, and so like it like ran the cutscene and then saved, instantly saved the checkpoint uh, after the cutscene, but I had zero health, and so it would just keep reloading the checkpoint, and I would just keep dying over and over again. You know, I can't find it. So I, I had a copy of Fable One, and I can't find it anymore. I don't know what happened to it. I might still have it. The problem is that, the, okay, so, in the beginning of Fable, when you first show up to the Heroes Guild, yeah. there is one extra, there is one mission that requires you to be at, like, a hero rank at the very beginning, and then it'll disappear after you do, like, the first main story mission, right? Um, I've always wanted to do it, because apparently it's the only way to get, uh, like, a secret hair style. I think it's, like, the game developer's haircut or something. It has, like, the most attractiveness, whatever. Yeah. But... Like, the only way to do it is to somehow raise your notoriety and your, like, your hero stuff, uh, like, really, really early on. Okay. Because otherwise it'll be gone by the time that you actually have that notoriety. Yeah. I've just never done it. So every, the last couple times I sat down to play Fable, I'm like, I'm gonna do it this time. Do it. Yeah. Rest peacefully. Okay. So, what's stopping the Sith from undoing what you just did? Um, I guess I need to get out of here. Oh, 
Sweet Jesus! This, this is what stops them, Eric. Are you happy now? Oh, no. What is that from? Uh, Family Guy. <laughs> it was a, it was a Star Wars skit and everything too. So yeah. that right. It's like there, she's dead now. Are you happy? I've never been happy. <laughs> Well, I think I fell to my death, but maybe not. So you didn't run into Tavion. That's good. And bad. Well, that's good. At least you stopped the cultists. But we can't keep this up forever. We've got to stop Tavion once and for all. I've been tracing Tavion's movements over the past few months. Uh -huh. It looks like she acquired the scepter from a collector on Commoner. Then she killed him. Yeah, sounds like a dark side thing to do. Sounds like a dick thing to do. All right, Eric, you choose this one. Um... This one I fight Boba Fett. Really? Mm hmm. Let's save that one for later then. Right. Let's go to Tanaeb. We got word from a freighter captain that there are members of a cult at the, at the spaceport on Tanaeb. Head over there whoa, and whoa, find whoa, out on. what they're doing. They there. spelled it wrong. T A N A A D and then T A N. <laughs> they did. Which, is, which one is it, game? <laughs> are we going to Tanaeb or Tanaeb? Stay That's alert on this one. now. Ugh. If there are disciples of Ragnos at Tanab, they probably are just passing through. Tanab. Okay, Tanab. It always makes me feel like delicious when I find out that, that someone's fucked up on a game somewhere. I'm like, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. That, uh, so there's a moment in Sonic 06 that, I mean, that entire game's fucked up, but there's yeah. actually a moment where there's a uh, outtake. Okay. Like, you hear the guy flub the line, Say it a couple times, like, okay. And then say the entire line again, but right. <laughs> they didn't cut out the bad take. I remember the first time I heard that, I'm like, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Oh, my hell. Oh, no, I think I... Oh, I think if I had a Rancor in this one. Sorry, this you, is a pretty hard one. Kills one's really hard. Well, we had to do it eventually. Yeah. Well, this is where the captain saw the cultists. It doesn't look like... Is that a cultist? Yep. Hey, get back here. Well, that's an alpha. Oh, that's like a mutated one. Yeah. Holy fuck, it's like the space pirates uh, from uh, Metroid Prime got into our Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> it's a phase on Raycor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I thought I made it. Okay. Howie. I'm good. Howie. I'm good. Howie. Just, just run. You got it, Greg. Get Oh, God. No. No, stop it. Okay, just do it. Stop playing with me. Oh, God, he swallowed me all. Oh, oh, it's so warm and wet in here. It's all good. Oh, I think we... Okay. That's not kind of comfy. Oh, God, yes! It's... <laughs> That's not good. Game lights. Congratulations. Thanks. Oh, come on. Let me do the Luke Skywalker and just close it on him. There you go. Did he drop me? Did he drop me? Did he drop me? There, I think he dropped me. He did, but he dropped me inside the wall. Are you picking up again? He dropped me? Where am I? Inside the wall. Did you... Inside the wall. <laughs> Run! That's not good. No, Jaden. No, it isn't. If I remember right, I think I spent the entire mission running away from him. An intruder. Fuck you! <gasps> yeah, this seems like one where just keep doing, like, force rush and just let these guys get eaten by the rain. <gasps> Fuck you too! This is a very inefficiently arranged <gasps> hangar. <laughs> Eric's figuring out the secrets. I got other shit to deal with. There is a loose rancor. Yeah, see, look, he's eating people. Watch the run. I'm just gonna I can just run past him. He's eating that guy. He's not concerned with me. He's eating that guy. Ooh, we do, we rich and chewy. Golden flaky, and so tasty outside. You're up the outside, I'll be inside. It's a good. Darn you. You're doing the big, big Newton. Here comes the hard part. There's that episode of the Carry Show that's like that. Like, he's like, oh, I can't fall asleep. And they're like, mm -mm, good. Mm -mm, good. Can't 
up in the soup. It's good. And like one of, and he falls asleep on one of their hands. And like, like, guys, guys, I'm stuck. Uh, carrots, potatoes, peas. Your mama says you eat a lot of these. Like, no, like. Make it your way. Make it your way. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. I just wish. Why do you do it? Well, um, we're gonna figure out this rancor situation next time. He's coming! <laughs> oh god, is he? Ca oh fuck! A rancor orgasming has got to be like the worst. <laughs> Violent. I think everybody's dead at this. I think everybody in this room's dead. Okay, so if I remember right, I'm supposed to get him to hit these somehow. That makes sense. Yeah. But we'll get it next time on every game ever. Pause uh, it. Pause it. Pause it. <laughs>